Dune Origins, the audio miniseries narrated by Tariq Khurshid. Episode 3 Kill School on X. In the previous episode, Lady Jessica, daughter of Vladimir Harkonnen, is sent by her mother on X with a mission to seduce Leto Atreides, Duke Alaire of House Atreides, the family which has been enemy to them for generations. On Arrakis, their tyrannical occupants carelessly continues in their barbarian ways. Over the sand plains of Arrakis, a beetle-shaped machine crawls over an orange field. The harvester's operator calls the thopter in which Raban is. We're getting more tremors coming from underground, sir. I care for nothing, minions. Now am I. Flying in a thopter above, a fly-like air transport vehicle. Planetary ruler Raban, right-hand man of Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, observes with impatience as the spice harvest operates above the orange crust. Something is wrong. Yungo Retrim, his mentat, observes with him. Maybe we should call a transport to come to the harvest and pick it up. Maybe my fist on your mouth would help you to shut it up. The Mentat swallows the saliva in fear. Simultaneously on X. Leaving his cherished lush water rich planet of Caladan, young Leto Atreides finally arrives in the quasi industrial planet X. Leto sets foot on marble ground of the study quarter's entrance, a vast room where a shield glass dome allows mysterious lights of space to penetrate. Standing with their mentats, some with bodyguards, stand his future classmates, students of other houses of the Lancerad. Only a young boy stands alone. Leto walks to meet his study mate. Hi, I am Leto from Kaltan. I guess you're also here for classes. I'm Eldrick, and well guessed. We have planned logic lessons soon today. I've heard of Professor Kynes. He's provided our house with many archives of research of our oceans and mountains. A young girl inquisitively interrupts the conversation. I hope we finally learn about Guild's navigators. It is none less than Lady Jessica. <laughs> nice to meet you. I... I'm Lady Jessica. And you are? Edric. Just call me Edric. And here's Leto from Caladan. I heard rumors that the steersman used to be human. Then maybe one of them will show up here on X to instruct us. Nonsense. It's no secret that Gil's navigator are as jealous of its privacy as it is of its monopoly. You're once again right, Leto. Atreides? Lady Jessica, surprised to have run into the person she was looking for so quickly, immediately engaged in making manipulated views of her feminine charms. Leto, you are right. And I am bored of this conversation about the guild. She grabbed Leto's arm, pride of acquisition, and walked away from Eldrick, leaving him alone. I've heard so much about how beautiful your home world was, Leto. Tell me about your oceans. Eldrick walked away from the presence of scanner robots and other students. Tweaking a device on his ear, he started whispering. Yes, my lord. Everything is in place. I will honor your command. That is my mission. Even though being a spy on a mission, Eldrick had an instance of weakness, a hurt ego. Was it simply human nature or the hormonal changes of teenage years? In both cases, Leto and Lady Jessica had made a new enemy who had not shown true colors yet. Meanwhile, on Gaiety Prime, in a dark corridor, the lonely guard advances to fall in an unsuspected trap. I'm a harpoon. Where's the little mouse? <laughs> Hiding in the house? 
The guard laughed cynically. <laughs> ho ho! Yeah. Wow, look at me, I'm a tough one. The dark silhouette, which hanging from the ladder above him, jumped to land on the guard, thumping him to the ground. I'm here, you pig. And so am I. Replied a voice, Duncan gets up from the unconscious body. A strong arm grabs him by the throat and lifts him up. <clears throat> Fane grabs his blade, and just as he was about to give the boy a fatal stab, an alarm sound goes off. The game was over. What are you gonna do now? Kill me? Said Duncan as a mock. You insolent vermin, you! I'll show you, boy! Furious. Fade swung his blade at the boy but was stopped by the Baron, who firmly grabbed his arm. Enough! Uh. Stopping the fatal blow, the blade being only a few inches in front of Duncan's heart. Yes, Baron. Fade, we must go to June right now. Our house is a threat. The guild will be investigating June. I hate having the guild's nose in my operations. Yes, Baron, but what about the boy? Fade says pointing out Duncan. Oh, don't cheat, Fade. I know you like to kill, but he's won his prize. Bring him to June with us. We have to find this paleontologist kinds. Helen gauss Mariam overheard the conversation on Caton. Why should we listen to that Bene Gesserit witch? Do not question me. Prepare my ship and be welcoming to the kid, for he is now a Harkonnen. Harkonnen.